Yo, what's up? It's your boy DJ Avi. It's Liz. It's your boy Throne Kid. And welcome to Fuego Latino Live Radio. Where we bring you the hottest tracks and the best DJs from the hottest clubs like Status, Medusa, Salsetta, and many more. And special guest appearances from all over the DF Dub. Catch us on the Fishbowl Network every Tuesday from 10 to 11 p.m. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Fuego Latino Radio underscore for updates and behind the scenes. But do it like right now. Like now now? Like ahorita? Yeah, like right now. What's up, guys? Welcome, welcome, welcome to Fuego Latino Life Radio, the nightlife entertainment and the pop culture show, season three, episode two. Yes, What's sir. up, dog? How are man, you, man? What's going on, man? We're here. We Life's made good. It. Everything's going good. So to my right, we got the homeboy, the one and only taco master, yes, TK. Sir. What's going on? Man, nothing much, man. We're all here. We got an awesome episode for you guys today. And sitting right across from me is the most wholesome drinker on this side of the Mississippi, Sincerely Liz. Hey guys, and right next to me we have the one and only, my best friend, and um, I just started a podcast with her and we're going to talk about that later, but this is Perla Ceballos. Hey guys, you I can also start- call me Monse. Monse, so Monse. you guys started a podcast? <laughs> yes, we did. Yes. Oh, nice. All right. Let's get to that in a little bit. We shall. Man, so Ooh. I just want to give a quick shout out to everybody who has been following us for 11 episodes. This is our 12th episode as a whole. And uh, shout out to everybody who's on Instagram and our Fuego Latino Life. Fuego Latino Radio underscore is our Instagram page and our Facebook Fuego Latino Radio DFW. And on YouTube, man, we're uploading on YouTube every Sunday to YouTube at uh, Fuego Latino Radio as well. Definitely. How was you guys weekend? It was good. It man, was it was good. awesome. A lot of great weather. A lot of sports games. Dude, talk it about was, sports. Oh, uh, no. Big, big <laughs> subject. But, I mean, it was a great weekend. What did you do this weekend? I Actually, on Friday, uh, we DJed. We went over to the yard in Fort Worth. Oh, that's and right. And that was lit, man. It was dope. We had Leo back there. Oh, yeah. You know, with the visuals. And it was a good good stuff. Um, It was a good turnout, man. We got lit. It was fun. It was EDM. So, you know, we're out there fist pumping and stuff. Yes. Wearing a mask. Headbanging. Yo, to them, is like wearing a mask is like a regular thing to them. You know, yeah, it's dope. ravers always bring masks. Like, they always have the little sleeve thingies they're mm-hmm. safest they, yeah see they're ravers but they're the, they're safe they're the safe ravers mm-hmm. what did yeah. you guys do this weekend man this weekend was awesome friday i started off with uh hanging out at the tower club uh for those who don't know tower club nice beautiful bar probably one of the most beautiful bars i've ever been to it in dallas nice. just absolutely gorgeous and then saturday watched the ou texas game yes. unfortunately a very sad game <laughs> very man, sad game unfortunately my team texas you know hook them horns all day every day they lost sure. but i still had a great time at moxie's in uptown got super lit it was awesome and then of course Spin it again at the Tower Club Saturday <laughs> evening. Everything was lit. It was great. What'd you do, Liz? I actually worked this whole weekend, so I was Ooh. living. I was living through all of y'all stories. Oh and, man. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. But shout out to Avi. He brought uh, mimosas on Saturday. Night. I did. No, Sunday rehearsals. night. Yeah. 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 Dude, the craziest thing happened because we were watching the game, right? And I was like, I was Ricky. We don't really watch the game at home. I was like, I want to be home. So we bought mimosas and everything. And then my cable went off, bro. Like, out of all the things. <laughs> and it was, like, crazy. And I was watching it on YouTube or, like, Google and everybody. Like, you had to pay to watch this stuff on YouTube. I mean, yeah. on YouTube, face like, all over. So we ended up going to Hooters. And then we had some Hooter Wings, which is the best wings out there. Hooters. I picked it Sponsor different, him. Man. Sponsor uh, us, Hooters. I don't and know. Team oh, Pluckers. I know. What are you ended up doing this weekend, Perla? This weekend, I actually took a mental health weekend, guys. Yes, I just stayed at it. home this, with Oliver and just your hung out there. there. And then this Sunday was yeah. the Cowboys game. Yeah. Uh, shout out to the Cowboys, but definitely a bigger shout out. And nothing but you know prayers and goodwill towards Dak Prescott. Dude, I know. Yeah. What a that I'm was sorry. awful. But we still got that W though, no matter what. And hopefully Andy Dalton can kind of pull through for us. But what a game! That was tough. It was tough. To watch. Yo, yo, I was watching the game and I was like, I saw his ankle. I was like, I thought it was like a, a season injury, like a, a career injury. I was like, man, that's, mm-hmm. he ain't coming back from that. And he was crying. I was like, crap. Yeah, especially after the, everything he's been through. Now, he is going to be back during the off season, so hopefully he'll be ready for next season. But what does that mean for, you know, us? You know. Uh, <laughs> Do you guys know about sports? Yeah. No. Do you know about football? Yes. Kind of. I'm going to. Yeah. Okay, so uh, quick, we, before we bring on the guests here today, <laughs> how many points is a, is a field goal? Two. One. One, 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 one. Two. Two. Two? It's two. Oh, yeah, two, yeah. Okay, how much is a touchdown? Six. Six, wow. I was going to say three. Right. I said nice. two at first, and then you looked at me like you were disappointed. Yeah. No, I, that sounds I, I like two. You're, you're now an NFL rough. <laughs> yeah, give it up for Liz, y'all. <laughs> Yo, so let's go, Cowboys. Yeah. Seferino Alvarado. <laughs> we got Israel watching. 
DJ Mad. Hey, Any non shout out to you. And then shout out to everybody, uh, to our uh, Vic. Vic's design. He got the new sweater, the oh, merch out yes. here. Fuego yes. Latino. You know, Latino empowered. So we got the merch Definitely. coming for winter. So today's a very special episode because very we got the special. goat. We have a goat in the building. We have two goats. <laughs> we, have, we have a little, a little goat. <laughs> Uh, but then baby. we got the baby goat who, who's gonna be coming up here soon. But we got the goat goat. Uh, he's worldwide DJ. He's all over Dallas, and he's from LA. You guys wow. know what I'm talking about? I, I think, think so. I do. I, I think idea. I have an and idea. When you say, idea. When you say international, I mean this guy's been across the yeah. ocean. <laughs> right? Sure. Yeah. 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 And he's 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 one to me. He's one of the highs in the industry. You know, you see this guy everywhere, and uh, you had a big round of applause for the homie Danny West in the building, y'all. Yeah. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What's Kinds good? What's welcome. good? What's good? What's up, Danny? What's going on? Hey, you know, we chilling here. Come on. I saw your Instagram page. Dude. You were out there across the street over there in the, the Dodgers yeah, game. Yeah, I got my boys from LA here, so like we're getting lit and uh, we're having a good time, and it, it just happens to be we're across the street, so it all works out. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. How's the game? How's the new stadium? Let's start with the Let's not talk about that. Let's right not start yeah. with negative energy. Yeah. So what did you think of the stadium? Yeah, the, the stadium, stadium is dope. It's big as hell, but it's, it's super dope. And so it's just like, it's crazy. It's, you see the fight that happened there? There was a fight? Yeah, man. So like first fight there actually. Somebody, really? Yeah. yeah. We saw it in Did anyone Facebook? see that? I didn't it was see on that. Texas Latino. There you go. Uh, yeah. Texas Latino. As it should be. As it should be. <laughs> now, so it was a dope at stadium. Is it like no, the Cowboys it, one? Like a vibe, the energy? It's dope. It's nice. Yeah. It's really nice. It's huge. Yeah. Like as far as when it comes to MLB and stuff, it's huge. It's like, yeah. and so it's, it's dope. It's really nice. And then also the Lakers won. That's what we you Lakers. Know, let's go, baby. Man, let's, go. let's go. LeBron James. Yo, can I tell you right now? I want to put in a little like. Yeah, I'm go angry ahead. right now. Okay, go ahead. You're angry. Rob V told me I would get a sweater. Okay. Oh, he told you you're gonna get a sweater. Ooh, that Rob, was miscommunicate. You're mad. You need a better man. Dude, Rob V is your manager. Pay for you. Listen, Rob V said I would get a sweater. I walked yeah. in with fucking chocolate chip cookies. I was like, Oh, uh, you were you were greeted with but chocolate chip cookies. But the cookies are good. The, the cookies and they the chocolate. They weren't even cookies. <laughs> what were they? They were cake balls. <laughs> they were Oreo truffle. Well, that's a cookie in itself. I thought they were cookies. Yeah. But were they good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. They were good though. They were good. They were good. You know we uh. I was I was send over your request for tequila <laughs> and so your M and M's in color. It's but, on its you know, way. It's, on it's, its way. On its, we're working on it. We get you a gift. It's Ravi, soon. Ravi, you'll never work in this town again. Oh, okay. yeah, no. <laughs> it's because we got the really good packaging for you. That's all. no, I like that. I like that. Yeah. We got Avi Glow tuning in now. For everybody, I, it was like I was packing fruit. I was like, like yeah. when you pack fruit and stuff. Yeah. Like, the... <laughs> no, we'll get you a sweater, dude. Um, we got Ravi out here. You know, for everybody who doesn't know who Ravi is. Nobody um, knows who <laughs> Ravi is. Okay. Let's clarify this shit right now. For all, for all two right people now. who are tuning in for Ravi, he's out here. He's uh, he's actually hey. rocking the visual artillery, and uh, yeah, I mean, he's a great guy. He's probably he's actually one of the first guys we interviewed for Fuego Latino episode one. We Listen, doing... but you gotta you gotta start from somewhere, okay? <laughs> <laughs> That's not your fault. Dang. <laughs> what was it? What did he say? Yeah, he he said he gave oh, us the okay. views, bro. Yeah. That's what they got we, for 300 oh. we started with 300 views so he you know props to him we actually have a bloopers on him yeah <laughs> he was really he was real real shy it'll be studying. a good it'll be a good throwback thursday when you when you start when you hit it big and you're like yo ravi this is where we started yeah. we had nobody and uh <laughs> no, and he, believed. We're, he believed he believed now we're somebody you know what I mean? you know yeah <laughs> he gave you guys a chance <laughs> he actually thought he was gonna come out here to be interviewed and you took his chair. Here you are. <laughs> no, it's guys. funny because I called Uber and yeah. he picked me up. So it was like, yo, Rob, what are you doing today? <laughs> he's, a, he's a Uber. Nah, nah, nah. On the side. On the side, though, Rob V is a good guy. Great he's, guy. Uh, he's showing me some stuff. Turned and uh, yeah, man, he talks good about you. Everybody talks good about you, dog. We posted the yeah, flyer and it was dope. all good that's feedback. Dope. That's dope. Um, so, Danny West, who is Danny West and, you know, where'd you come from? Man. I don't even know how to answer that. I'm, I'm just me. I just yeah. do me. I just like try to do me and hustle and whatever. I'm originally from LA. I moved down right. here in Dallas, Fort Worth in 2007. And it's I've I've had a lot of success out here. So right. just n n nothing but love for Texas. Absolutely. Texas, you're, you're an LA fella. Yeah. yeah. Originally from Lincoln Heights, LA 213, 323. There you go. All right. What so, made you want to transition from LA to Dallas? Actually, I, I used to race motorcycles, and so oh, wow, one nice. of the guys, one of the guys I used to race motorcycles with, uh, he was originally from Fort Worth, and mm. he moved out to uh, back to Texas, and then within two months he bought a house, and I was like, yo, I'm like, yo, this house is sick. Right. He's like, yo, I paid a hundred and fifteen thousand. I'm like, the price value on it. Well, in yeah. LA, like, yo, yeah, you yeah. can live in the hood, like, and the house will be from the 1920s, and it's gonna cost you half a million dollars. Yeah, yeah no, and you sure. still gotta fix it mm -hmm. up. So, like, when I seen this house, I was like, 
I thought he was joking. He was All like, right. yo, come out. I'm like, yo, like, I'm out. And I came out. I was like, yo, let's leave it to Beaver. I'm, I'm with this. Uh, <laughs> so you, you're moving this. out here to Dallas wasn't because of the DJ industry. It was kind of more like no. a, like a cost life of change. living, basically. Cost of living all day. So 100%. I know the transition for a lot of people, a lot of entrepreneurs, artists. When they come from Texas to Cali, it's like complete culture shock, right. monetary shock. But what about like just coming? It's the same. It's the same. It's the same. Honestly, like the thing is like people out here in Texas are they're really good people and like. The biggest culture shock for me, like even walking to the supermarket, right? Right. Buying groceries and stuff. And like people talk to you, and like normally in LA, you'd be like, what do you want? Like, really? <laughs> no, like, some, some shit. like, like, you're like, Yo, that's just their right, attitude. Well, what are you trying to sell me on? It's like nobody oh, talks yeah. to you unless they're trying to sell you on something or get right. something from you. In Did LA. you notice any issues, like, as far as networking or anything like that? Or out here? Nah, just... honestly, like, out here, like, everybody's chill, bro. Like, on, mm -hmm. like, compared to LA, if you go to LA, like, it's, 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 a, it's a different game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People are like, there's people who have never left their zip code in LA. Oh yeah, LA is huge. Like, so like when you come out here, like people are cool as fuck. Like everybody's chill. Like everybody's having a good time. Like you're just good vibes and stuff like that. And then yeah, you 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 run into your knuckleheads or whatever. But for the most part, Texas yeah. Texas is all love, dude. It's it's a good vibe. Yeah. Like like no one is trying to survive to pay their bills. Mm -hmm. So I think that being said helps the mood. It's like, you know, like, well, I'm not trying to take you out to, to get a job to pay my house, you know what I mean? Or to pay my rent. And so I think that's the biggest difference okay. out here compared to L.A. Because in L.A., it's like, yo, how am I going to survive? Okay. And so, yeah. like, I think that's the biggest difference. And, like, as far as, like, the nightlife entertainment, because you're a DJ. And I'm sure a yeah, lot yeah. of people know, everybody who's tuning in who doesn't know Danny West, you're, you're, you're DJ City. You're with Beat Source yeah. or Beat, you know? Yeah, so, yeah. so um, you're a big influence to everybody who, who in Dallas at this point. Yeah. How was the the switch as like, the nightlife itself as a DJ? Did you already know people down here or did you have to network? I, I, I didn't know anyone out here. Right. So, like, when I, literally the first person I knew was a guy who used to race motorcycles with. That being said, mm. I don't think Dallas forward DJs, DFW DJs, yeah. they, they don't give them, themselves enough credit. Okay. Because there's a lot of great DJs out here mm. and who, who are doing shit. And the thing is, like, when you're stuck in a bubble and you don't get outside of DFW, right? You you're 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 just focusing on just the near sighted, you know what I mean? And so there's so many good DJs out here, DJ Mad, uh, Rev, right? Aiden, uh, I mean the, the the names can go on and on. There's a lot of good DJs out here, and they don't. You guys, honestly, you guys, I'm not gonna say they. You guys don't give yourselves enough credit because. You guys can go in a lot of places in the world and you can rock the party. Right. But you don't understand that you can rock the party because you haven't been there. Mm. You're like the, you, you guys are the, the pretty prom queen who thinks she's ugly. But we're not oh. that bad. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's the best way to Anyways, y'all, give it up for Danny West. I want that on a quote. I want that out. That's true, though. Yeah. I want that frame. No, but on some, on some real shit, like, yeah. like you guys don't give yourselves enough credit. And the thing is, like, and I feel like, the fact that you guys don't give yourselves enough credit that you mm. give is like the thing is for me like i blew up because i was like i'm from la so people are like the title i exactly mm. i got more opportunity just by saying that. Oh, i'm from la mm, yeah not because of my skills but mm. but dallas forward djs are really good djs who are just stuck fighting each other mm. as opposed to lifting each other up right and i'm I'm glad you touched on that because we had a couple influencers here from la and uh yeah. you know you know uh, we had a uh, they got, you know, he's new. Yeah, yeah, Nate, yeah. They got Brittany, like they're all influencers. Yeah, yeah. And uh, same thing, bro. They say that a lot of there's a lot of talent in Dallas, but we don't lift each other up. We don't. Exactly. We, we're kind of fighting each other, and right. that's not helping anybody in LA. Exactly. Everybody kind of networks and they build up each other's followers yes. and stuff like that. So that's a good point. To I be honest, like, that. like if, if if I look at LA and mm -hmm. DJs there, just skill wise, right? Not not like influencer wise, not as perception wise. If you look at DJs on a skill level, right. there's a lot of good DJs out here that can do a lot of big things. But but that being said, mm -hmm. and you guys can you guys can tell me this, yes right. or no. You guys probably hype up more people from outside the yeah. town than you do in the town. Yeah. Ain't that the truth? And, down. and so that yeah. being said, like we, we we're yeah. all we're all at fault for that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because we hold people who we don't know, who we don't fuck with, who we like we don't even rub elbows with them, right? Right. Yeah, yeah. We hold them up higher to a different standard because mm. just because they're from LA, New York, Miami, right? Mm -hmm. But that being said, you have to judge people on on their skill level. Yeah. Not perception. And Dallas Fort Worth has really good talent out here. Yeah. So when it comes to like, I guess a lot of the DJs out here, younger DJs, is your recommendation that we start traveling, getting out there more? I think one thing, I think you guys need to fuck with each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. That's you the guys, first thing. Like, you guys go. like, 
honestly, like, and I'm not trying to talk shit about anybody or whatever, mm-hmm. but like, how many times do your friends put mixes out and you share it on your social media? Oh, well, all our group, all 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 no, but before that, yeah. like, mm-hmm. like, you can name me any DJ, whoever your biggest DJs are. Yeah. Give me your top three DJs and then tell me how many mixes they've shared from any smaller level DJ. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, I see. They're, they're and that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. as far as like, if you're a leader in this industry, you have to uplift the mm-hmm. new coming talent, right? Mm-hmm. And that doesn't happen enough. Mm-hmm. And like that being said, you guys, wherever, whatever level we're at, right? Mm-hmm. There's gonna be someone better than us and someone lower than us. Right. But at the same time, we don't try to bring each other up. Exactly. We don't. We don't. Yeah. We don't try to elevate people in right. our industry. And so I think that DFW. I think that's what it lacks in DFW. Just kind of support that support from. Oh, everybody. in Texas in general, yeah. because like, yeah. what's the biggest DJ in Texas? All right, I'm asking you guys a serious question. What's the biggest DJ in Texas that is doing nationwide stuff from Texas, originally mm. from Texas, doing nationwide stuff? Who's the biggest DJ? Uh, don't know much. Many of them. Um, Off top. Ooh. I don't know. Avi. No. Nah, no, no. <laughs> Avi. That's you what I'm know? saying, that, but there's, that's sad. It's there's, not. There's, it's, it's not because it's not the yeah. ability. The ability is there. Yeah. The DJs are there. The the talents there, but you guys, the fact that you guys can't tell me who's the uh, biggest one, DJ. Yeah. One Texas person. is the biggest. You know, pop, yeah. one, of, it's the one of the biggest states in the United States. Right. Economy, right. everything. And so, and they've been so influential in the hip hop game and like a lot of the music industry. But you guys can't tell me who's the biggest DJ to come out out of Texas. Out of t- Texas, yeah. And that's the problem. Like, we have to uplift each other. Each other, yeah. And be positive vibes, you know what I mean? Like, yo, like, yo, if you make it, I make it. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, like, you sign, I sign. Exactly. And as far as that goes, you know, you, you came in from Cali, like you mentioned earlier. Um, who were some DJs that opened the doors or were like, you know, welcome to Dallas instead of just trying to butt heads with you? Be like, oh, who's this cat? To be honest, of- when I first moved here, like, the thing is, like, I, I, I've always approached my my career as far as, like, I'm not trying to do the hottest spot. I'm not trying to DJ the hottest spots, right? right? What's the hottest... What's the hottest DFW spot that you now, know? Uh, it's always changing. You got Bottle Blonde. Yeah. Bottle Blonde. Like the what bars. Else? What we else? Got, what I mean, else? Medusa is popping yeah, cool. at the time. I've never wanted mm. to DJ in those places. Right. But that being said, because I, I want to respect my value. Right. And I don't want to chase the image. Mm-hmm. I want people to hire me for who I am for and yourself. my talent. Right. Right. And so that being said, like, if you really think about it, like, I'll give you this. Give me the top three places I've DJed at that you know of. Uh, Punk Society. Punk, that, you yeah. just, you just I just landed. got hired there. Yeah, you just landed that one. <laughs> okay, so take that out. I just got hired uh, there. Bombshells. I just got hired there two weeks ago. <laughs> but that, but yeah. th- that shows you. And what I'm trying to say is like a lot of DJs chase the whole culture as far as like, um, not culture, but like as far as like the shine. They, everybody mm. wants to shine, right? Mm. As opposed to working, putting the hard work. And, and getting respected for your grind. Right. And I, I like that you touched upon that because we had a couple weeks ago, we had Hardbox, and he said, bro, yeah. I, I don't want to go to a club where people line up to go to a club. I want to go to a club where I build the club up with the exactly. energy and the vibe exactly. that I, exactly. you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I, I 100% agree with that. So, I, well. and, and I think that's what's lacking in the new generation because right. everything's so social media oriented mm-hmm. where like you're on Instagram, you need the, you need the, the look, you need the perception and all that stuff. So like, and as far as when DJs are concerned, it's like, you know, like, dude, put in your work. Let the people respect right. you for your grind, for your talent, and let your let your talent be your be your, 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 be your door. Exactly. Yeah. That's going to open the doors for you for you being a blowing mm-hmm. up. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that, that, that's my approach. And, and like I said, like you guys, you guys can't even name the, the mm-hmm. top three clubs. <laughs> yeah, like. there's. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. With, with social media, I, I do feel like uh, there is a lot of people that kind of just go based on followers, DJ oh, it's, fa- it's all fake. It's, it's all, fake. all fake. It's all fake at this point. Anybody it's all can fake. Buy, and, yeah. and, and when I tell everybody, it's like, yo, mm-hmm. make sure you're happy res- with yourself. Yeah. Make sure you're happy w- with what you're doing. Mm-hmm. And don't chase that ghost that doesn't exist. Right. And so, like, and I think that's where people get lost. It's like, well, I got a DJ here because this is the hop, uh, popping spot, whatever. Right. But your value doesn't go up. You're just a slave to the game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so I feel that's where a lot of DJs fail. fail and that's it. why they're not, my opinion, that's why they're not blowing up. That's why they will never leave their city mm. because they're a slave to the venues they DJ for. Right. And they just stay, yeah. And As I, opposed to be like, yo, you're dope. We want to hire you. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, yo, like it's not it's not where you DJ at because you have no control of that. You either working for a promoter or an owner who's not respecting what your worth is. Right. And we're gonna pay you 150 bucks. Just come out. Yeah. 150 bucks. Like I, I I wouldn't leave my house for 150 bucks. No. Nah. I'll just stay home. And uh, talking about about the pricing with 150 bucks is the low low at this point. Um, now uh, a lot of people who are just watching the show at this point, you're looking at 18 year olds, 20 like the ages from 18 to at least 29, 30. Like, what's some word of advice that you would give out to just the younger generation of DJs that who are trying who are hungry but don't know where to start? You being you know an OG in the game. I feel old. That being said, <laughs> the thing is like the thing is like like, like uh, 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 yeah, thank you. <laughs> That being said, I, I feel like your heroes don't make them don't elevate your heroes too high. Right. Don't put people above you because right. like, yeah, they might be on a better level at this point in time right now, but that's not don't make make sure you see yourselves on their level, mm-hmm. right? Right. That's yeah. your competition. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, right. I don't. I, you're not my hero. Mm-hmm. Like, you're, you're a guy I look up to and I respect, but at the end of the day, I want to get on your level. Yeah. And I want to compete with you. Right. You're like a like an Olympic athlete. It's like, yeah. all right, cool. Like, yeah, we're in different levels. I might be in high school, whatever, but in in four or five years, I want to be in the Olympics and I want to compete against you and right. I want to beat you. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah. like, it, it's all respect, but mm-hmm. make sure you work on yourself. Right. Make sure you work on your craft and don't sell yourself out short. Short, yeah. Because I, I feel like a lot of DJs who are just coming up at this point, they will even go about, you know, getting paid seventy-five dollars to for, to a venue for Which is four or five hours. Crazy. And to to you, based on what you said, don't sell yourself short. You know, know your value, and all of you want to kind of knock doors, and stand stand with your ground. Or like, to be honest, like mm. everybody looks at glitter, they see mm-hmm. they see some type of sparkle, and they think right. it, they think it's a diamond. It's glitter. Don't get lost in the sauce. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? <laughs> work, don't work, get lost work, on the sauce. Work on yourself. Work yeah. on your craft. Mm-hmm. And. If it takes two years for you to build yourself up, I don't care what you say. Yeah. All promoters, all owners will pay attention to that. Yeah. You don't have to work for them. Build yourself up. Put your time and effort into mm-hmm. your craft. And if you're killing it, people are going to be like, hey, work for me. I want you. To, I want to yeah. hire you, right? And yeah. you, you set your price or whatever. And I think that all these DJs want to skip all these de- all those steps. The intro. The and they, they, want, they want the hotness. They, they yeah. want the attention and all that. Which is, it, it's, it's a nice mm-hmm. thing. It's a good thing to happen. But when you fast forward, you lose your respect as far as pricing and, right, and all yeah, that yeah. stuff's concerned. So you're not going to get paid the same. So like you bring, you be building your brand, basically. With all that, that hard work, you know, I do understand that you do a lot of DJing, like, internationally. Where have you, like, just for, you know, people who are just now tuning in, where have you gone to so far? Overseas. Overseas. Um, and I've, how did you get there, more, more importantly? To be honest, like, if you, I mean... Really, it, it, the question is asked to you guys. Where do you that? Where do you guys think it came from? Because I never mm. worked the hottest clubs in Dallas Fort Worth. Right, I've mm. never done that, so it had nothing to do with the spots I was working at. It was I worked hard. Your work, yeah. I made a name for myself, and then the venues gave me control of these venues. Mm. And so when people come from out of town, they're like, "Yo, Danny, I want a DJ here." Understand this. Bottle blonde, what? Oh, forget bottle blonde. Well, give me another. Give me another spot, a hot spot. Stir. Mm-hmm. Stir. Okay. So stir. What's the hottest spot in LA? Oh, man, uh, we went to a party with. You can't tell me. Uh, uh, what's the hot spot in Miami? I don't know. I've never been. No, exactly. Know. And that being said, that that being said, from the outside looking in, nobody yeah. knows. Nobody knows bottle blonde stir from. The other side from mm-hmm. salsera mm-hmm. right because mm-hmm. then if you look from the outside like some people might not give salsera the respect that it deserves right yeah. as a dj you might dj at punk society you might dj at whatever spot right locally they might like, I, that spot ain't shit right right but from the outside looking in they see you dj and it's popping mm-hmm. and you're the guy that's making it pop off right they don't know from bottle blonde stir and that spot you're djing at so yeah, no never difference. undercut yourself. That's mm-hmm. the biggest thing is because you guys can't tell me what's the best spot in New York. You can't tell me the best spot in Miami, right. LA, w- Oregon, Italy, right? Perception is reality. Mm-hmm. So never undersell yourself short. There you guys. 
I know. Uh, we had we had uh, we had Jason De Leon. He's right. Tell him DJ Unknown said he's right, and I'm listening. DJ so that Unknown is an outcome. You know DJ Unknown? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a cool homie. Yeah, you know, yeah, and yeah. he's doing good things. You know, yeah. we're all just starting off, and it's all respect. Dude, in. It's, yeah. all, it's all respect. The thing is, like, don't ever like. We put in a grind every day, and like, right. and, and, and sometimes we we invest in ourselves, whether it be by hosting DJs, whether mm -hmm. it be by putting DJs at our house to sleep over. Yeah, y you have no idea how much that means to a person. Yeah, right. Forget the DJ game. Think about it as a person. Like, yo, you come to my house, like, yo, or you come to my city, like, yo, you got a place to stay. And yeah, that's and, the connection. Well, it's not only the connection; mm -hmm. it's a respect. The respect it's like, yeah. the thing is, that I'm not gonna open my house to anybody. Anybody, yeah. And so, like, it's just a respect thing. And so, like. I think DJs locally on a local level, they get so lost in the sauce. Like I got to DJ the hot spot, and if someone tries to come into my spot, I'm threatened. Yeah, right. That's true. As opposed to like, yo, come to my spot. I want you to rock the shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I took over Bottle Blonde. I literally have one day, the entire month, because I want to put my homies on. Mm -hmm. Because that's, dope. that's cool. Because yeah, I see that a lot, a lot about about you. The the better they look, the better they make me look. Right. So like, don't ever get lost in sauce. Don't ever be afraid to put someone else on to make you like where you feel like, oh, they're going to make me look bad or they're going to be better than me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you feel they're going to be better than you, then more put more time in your, yeah. in your, in your, yeah. in your craft. And, and I feel like, I mean, I have a lot of homies. We, we compete, you know, we want to be, it's good. And that's it's good. friendly that's competition. Healthy. I feel healthy. like that's what's going to take you to the next level, that's bro. Healthy. And it's just that's like, healthy. it's a chain of reaction chain. That but the dope, the dope part looking. is. After all that work is done yeah. and you go somewhere else to a different country, to a different state, to a different city, and you go there and someone else shows you that love, you who have, you're not from there and you get that love and respect. Right. That means a lot to you. Yeah. Whether whether you kill it, whether you're better than them or not, doesn't matter. Mm. But the fact that they give you that love and respect, that means a lot to you. So mm. then you want to reciprocate that. Yeah. And so I think a lot of people get lost or like, I gotta be the best. Yeah. Like, no, you don't have to be the best. Mm -hmm. Like I want to put you in the position to be the best. Like if if you come to my club and you don't know what format to play, I'm like yo, here's my playlist. Here's what I normally play. Go off of that and kill it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so like I feel people get threatened by that. Yeah, I seen it. And and it's like yo, like no nah, man, like yo, I want you to win. Yeah. 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 And people don't do that enough. So and I feel like a lot of young DJs reach out to some DJs who are making it or popping at the biggest clubs but they get turned down so that shouldn't be like a, a quitting moment that should kind of no, push you more to keep no. networking and going here's out here's the thing here's yeah. the thing with, with my best advice to those djs is like when you get a no it's not a no it's a not now not not yet yeah there you go and so putting your work putting your like putting your effort and when you're popping I promise you, they're gonna call you no matter what. Oh, I don't yeah. care if you're working at some shit on like bar or whatever. Yeah. Like if you're playing the right shit, people are gonna hear it. People are gonna talk about it, and they're gonna be like, "Yo, you need to hire this Come guy." Come on, yeah. Because mm -hmm. he'll drive that revenue. And even if it doesn't happen, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. That doesn't make you or break you. Like, mm -hmm. you can honestly on some real shit. The places that are popping pay you the least amount of money. Yeah, bro. <laughs> bar, bar, the, the, bar tab Bar <laughs> percentage They're either run by promoters Yikes. They're run by yeah. promoters They're run by, by owners Who are killing it Right yeah. And the thing is Those places People are so Like in line Like yeah. Oh I just want a chance To DJ there And so As a, as myself The way I look at it As a business person Is like I'm not worried about that mm -hmm. I'm worried about my revenue Pocket yeah, And money. so like People are like Oh yo I need a DJ here Like alright go ahead man Like I ain't chasing that Like Yeah but if you pay attention to yourself and your craft, you're going to get compensated no matter what. Yeah. And, and your chance will come up. Right. And even if your chance don't come up, don't worry about it. This is just one city. Yeah. That's what that I'm being saying. said, Dallas has how many bars? A lot of them. No, no. clue. Too much. Exactly. <laughs> Too many. Well, how Toronto, many clubs? Too many. How, in North Dallas, mm -hmm. Fort Worth, There's Arlington. Yeah. There's like, literally like, room like, for everybody. You guys are literally, like, some people are worried about just the focal points of things. Yeah. And it's like, yo, man. There's money over here that nobody's paying attention to, and it's the little spots, bro. Everybody wants to be at the hottest spot, like you said. Like there's little rest restaurants are popping right now. Like that's it's that's cracking. where the money is Hashtag at. Hashtag restaurant um, DJs. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, before you, you you know we take a break, I know you have to go. Um, three things you cannot travel without, Danny West. What are three things you cannot travel without? Let's not mention your phone yeah, or your laptop. Your phone. Oh, your laptop. three things. <laughs> or your DJ equipment. You're going to China. I know you you've been out there. Um, what are you? What's in your luggage? Japan. Wait, wait, what what country are we going to? 
Uh, Japan. Japan. Right, Japan. All right, I'll give you a fun, the funny story, and I'm, I hate to be r- gross about this, <laughs> but the first time I landed in Japan, right, I had some sushi on the plane. It sushi was, on the plane. He's so I had time. diarrhea before I went to the uh, immigration <laughs> checkpoint, right? Yeah. And I'm like, oh, shit, I got to take a shit. Yeah. So I'm like, I go to the restroom. <laughs> I went to the restroom, right? The first restroom I opened. The toilet is on the floor. On the floor? No matches. Oh. On the floor. Because, like, in China, that's normal, right? That so was the first toilet. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> I can't do this. You didn't have to sit on the ground. Well, you have to hover. You have oh, to crouch. Yeah. Like, oh, my God. Yeah, you, you, like, literally. It'll so, be like, like a, a squat a, or something? Yeah, you have to squat. Oh. Like, you have to squat, right? All right. So, I was like, I was like, I'm like, oh, no, nah, this ain't going to happen. So, I pulled out, and I walk into the next restroom. Luckily, it was it was vacant. Yeah, and it was a toilet seat. I was like, God damn, God bless. <laughs> so they don't have toilet seats there. Well, they have toilets, it's the but it's on the well, ground. There's some on the floor, and there's some regular toilets. Ah, so, so I'm to trying to picture myself going out. No, literally, look at the floor. Yeah. Imagine the toilet seat like <laughs> oh in the ground. God. Doesn't the water shoot up though out there? Or something? Oh, the beignets. Yeah. Yeah. It cleans oh. your. It cleans that. <laughs> that being said, it took <laughs> it, it took me it took me two uh, it took Oof. me it took me two trips to try one. <laughs> that being said, it's the truth. It's the truth. It's warm. It's cleansing. Yeah. It's it's amazing. I Great. heard they're life changing. It is life changing. I was like, I was like, oh, like it oh, cleans God. the penny. <laughs> no, it, it's it's really good. You're like, wait a minute. And Hurricane Harbor. No, yeah. So so going going back to the question. No, 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 all right. So the, uh, then we said, imagine the jacuzzi. You know the water jets and oh. all stuff. Oh. All right. <laughs> That's the best way to describe it. Ooh. You guys got it. Boom. So what are three things you would <laughs> travel without? Of a day. Of a day. Toilet paper? <laughs> nah. I mean, on, <laughs> you like taking a lot of dumps? No, nah, yeah, I mean. Well, you gotta go, you gotta go. <laughs> we can go deep into this nah, if you want to. <laughs> I mean, we can. No, we nah, can. but uh, I, I mean, there's not there's not really, I don't I don't have three things I, I don't travel without. You're a simple like, man. You don't need. Simple. Yeah. Simple. Clothes on my back, basically. I'm a survivor, you know what yeah. I mean? So that being said, I mean, the, every, every, every country and place is different so there you go and what are you gonna be where where are you gonna be out this weekend where can people come out there this weekend i'll be at punk society saturday that's that friday i'm off but i got phenom coming in i got uh i got uh who i got from el paso that's neat. i got a couple of people coming out this town so. this, okay and uh, what's your favorite drink so whenever we want to come out there and cranberry support. vodka fireball oh, fireball there oh, we go actually, hey, one, Somebody. I, got one more, I got one more <laughs> so la tacos or texas tacos Ooh. Oh. Without a doubt or question, oh. LA Taco. Oh, yeah. I've had them. I've had them both. No, yeah. Both. Without a doubt, the truck, and that, that being said, that being said, tacos. that being said, the best tacos out here, I, I feel, is uh, what's that place in GP that we go to? El Hacalito. No. Torchies. No. Don't hey. say torchies. Come on. <laughs> you can get us laughed at, man. Rob, what you call? Fitos? Fitos. Yeah. Fitos. Yeah. Hey, Fitos. Yeah. I, I, Fitos I fuck with Fitos like Solid 100%. Place. Like, Fitos is on point. I, I'll take uh, that. What's the other taco spot with the chicken place? Uh, Pollo Regio. Oh. What? Pollo Regio goes hard. Very good place. Right? I, I, respect, I respect that. Pollo Regio? I Pollo Regio. That it's a good so, name. Soy de Monterrey, bro. You're from Monterrey, too? I'm, I'm, my, my dad's from Dio Catiche, Jalisco. Okay. My mom's from Mexicali. There you go. Uh-huh. But that being said, yo, that, that, shit, it, that shit goes hard. That being said... <laughs> <laughs> El Chingon is coming to Texas. There you go. All shout right. out. Shout out. All right. So we got the Tijuana tacos coming out. Okay. I'm going to have to write that down. It's coming to Fort Worth. El Chingon. El Chingon. And you're hearing it first right now. So it's coming to Fort Worth. El Chingon. Hold on. Hold on, baby. Let me talk. All right. There you go. Go, 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 go. It's, go, go, it's coming to Fort Worth. Uh-huh. And it's rumored to mm. coming to Dallas. Oh. There's two. Oh. I might say yes, I might say no, but I ain't gonna confirm nothing. Ah, you hey, see it. I'm gonna have to hit you up on those details for Come sure. Come on, baby. We got a taco segment, so. Yo, I promise you, like, LA will kill yeah, bro. Texas. The third, but, third, but I've had them both. I can't, I can't lie. I mean, they're. The most overhyped. What, what's the place off of uh, Loop 12? Uh, oh. Talk, talk spots in Loop 12. What's, give me your biggest talking spots. Uh, shoot, Paisanos. Paisanos. Pa- that's overhyped. Nah, nah man, bro. That's what's really a drunk taco. That's, that, drunk that, taco. that's the king taco of LA. Yeah. So when people hype up. King Taco Valet, that's Paisanos. Mm. Okay. No. So don't buy the hype. You had to go with the spots that nobody knows. You got, got yeah, you had to go to the hole in the wall, so mm-hmm. definitely. 
There you guys have it, guys. So, Danny Ways, thank you so much, bro. Yes. For thank coming out. I know we, you dropped a lot of knowledge. I need um, my sweater. We're going to get this shit on point. <laughs> there you go. DJ Matt's here next week. Next week, yeah. That's my baby. Okay. I got his watch. Can I leave his watch here? You can. We sure. just can. put it on All here right. somewhere. Yo. It's it's a Rolex, so can I trust you guys? To yeah, keep yeah. That? He's, oh, a good, yeah, yeah. he's a good guy. He's a good. He's a All good right. homie. Now, nah, Matt, I love Matt. I love I love my boys. I love my people who support me. Like yo, all the way. Listen, if the only message you get from here tonight is uplift each other, there you go. Show each other love. Don't hate on each other because there's a lot of opportunity in DFW. And honestly, like don't be a negative mindset person. Negative Nancy. So yeah. negative Nancy. It's out by yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. Well, thank you so much, Danny Wes. We thank really you. appreciate you, brother. You. Yes, and uh, sir. what's your uh, Instagram and uh, all that? Just at DJ media. Danny Wes. DJ Danny Wes. So you're yeah. listening to Fuego Latino Radio. My name is DJ Avi. It's Liz. It's your boy Throne Kid. Let's turn it up. Hey. This is Perla, man. <laughs> all right, let's go. <laughs> Sorry, Perla. You're listening to Fuego Latino. Fuego Latino. Yo, what's up? It's your boy DJ Avi. It's Liz. It's your boy Throne Kid. And welcome to Fuego Latino Live Radio, where we bring you the hottest tracks and the best DJs from the hottest clubs like Status, Medusa, Salsetta, and many more, and special guest appearances from all over the DF Dub. Catch us on the Fishbowl Network every Tuesday from 10 to 11 p.m. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Fuego Latino Radio underscore for updates and behind the scenes. But do it like right now. Like now, now? Like ahorita? Yeah, like right now. And we're back with 60 seconds. Gone in 60 seconds with Liz. 60 seconds with Liz. Yes. So we have a. Oh. Oh. This is mine. We forgot a phone. Uh oh. So today we got a special segment with Liz. Spooky. Yes. Season is here. Very spooky indeed. So we got a couple spooky drinks for y'all. We got two today. The first one I'm going to do is. The so wait, it's oh, Halloween, guys. Yeah, Let's go ahead and give it up. It's Halloween <laughs> season. Been waiting for you know, this I, bro, this is my ringtone. So if you call me right now, I have the Halloween theme song right now. Can you believe we made it to Halloween? Dude, I what I was, a crazy year! I thought I was a goner, dude. No, I didn't think what we were do you mean? See it's it. already Halloween. I know, Time's but we. Flying by. But yeah, man. So you got some spooky drinks. Oh, what's going on? Your mic's falling apart. I don't. I don't. Know. Danny this whole West, year has. Danny West broke it. Felt like Halloween. Maybe it's a haunted mic. <laughs> the ghost is moving in. Am I just gonna talk into like this mic like this? Yeah. I can't lower it. Go ahead. There you go. <laughs> just a little bit. Yeah, okay, we're good. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah I can hear you. Okay. Alright, so I got two drinks today. The first one I have is the witch's potion. Wishes. Witches. 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 Witches potion. Okay. <laughs> it's a green um I I don't know if it's gonna come up on the screen. It's a green one. First you do uh you're gonna do half an ounce of sweet and sour. Half an ounce of blue cur- curacao. Curacao. Uh, half an ounce of light rum. Half right. an ounce of melon liqueur. And half an ounce of Malibu rum. And mm. three ounces of um, pineapple juice. So you mix it up together. It's going to be green. And you can have like a little... ¿Cómo se dice? How do you say Sugar. Dude, this sauce. Like witches. Yeah, like you could do like little cauldrons or little... Oh. Glasses and there's like little jelly that they sell, so you can do it with that jelly on the outside mm. and make it look creepy. Put a little spooky. Will you cup. drink that, Perla? 
I would chug it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 No chaser. No chaser. Straight no chug. Chaser. Straight chug. <laughs> it's really good. And then wow. you can make like a big thing of it. Make it put a little cauldron mm. in it. All right. And the next one, I've been into uh, Vampire Diaries lately. Okay. Lately. Literally. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. So I've been into it lately. So the yeah. next one is called Vervain Punch. Vervain Punch. Vervain. Yes. I saw the picture, man. That looks pretty tight. I know. It, it looks does. dope. Um, it's a uh, two bottles of Gatorade Powerade. Right. Okay. Two one and a half liters of tonic water. You have to use tonic water, not soda water. Tonic mm, water. Tonic. And two cups of vodka, and then two liters of Sprite. And you mm. mix it all together, and it's gonna like give you like a light purple kind of mm. color. And if you have black lights, it kind of glows. Dope. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. So you would suggest that one to for like a party or something? Yeah, yeah. like a party when you have like yeah. all the light, like black lights on, mm -hmm. it kind of glows a little bit. So it's pretty good, you know. Now, uh, Kiara said, I heard if you take liquid IV before drinking, you'll be cruda free. Yes, girl, it works. I, I have a couple at home and I tried it. It, <laughs> it honestly does. I mean, it depends on how much you drink too. Like you can't, you can't mix everything yeah. and then expect to be good. But yeah, it, it does help a lot. There you go. Shout out to Kiara. She's actually from Chicago. Ooh. Yeah, she's a homie from Chicago. So shout out to her. Perla, what's your go to drink? My go-to drink is... The song in the background. I know, the music is like the... <laughs> <laughs> it feels like I'm already in time. Already feels spooky. Um, Palomas. Palomas, Palomas yeah. Yes, yes Palomas, so 100%. I feel like... I love Palomas. You can never go wrong you with Palomas. You can never Palomas. go wrong with it. A little bit you, of tequila. You can't mess it up, man. You can't. Uh, here, this is the best drink you guys are ever gonna hear. Like, I haven't if told, I, I haven't, bar. I haven't told anybody anything. So let me cut the music. <laughs> oh, like, okay. no one knows this kind of drink. So if you go to the bar... Uh -huh. Okay. Halloween, New Year's Eve, whatever the occasion is. Leo, you listening? Okay. <laughs> this is very important. Everybody needs to know. So, guys, fireball. Oh, fireball. Fire. Fireball. I fireball. It's not so bad. That's good. Danny West likes it. I like it. It's I learned to drink. like it when yeah. I go out with uh, Ricky and Avi. So. It's a great drink, Ricky. Actually, I think Ricky likes it by now. Yeah, she No, she. Oh, no, she likes she it. She prefers it. it. She <laughs> prefers it. There you go. See, it's not good. So we're talking about Halloween, right? So it's Halloween season, guys. And uh, me and Ricky actually on uh, Saturday night, we actually went to a haunted bridge over in Denton. Oh, so what? everybody in Denton, uh, it's called the uh, Goatman Goatman Bridge over in Denton. So pretty much what that is. Um, I'm trying to get everybody. I know in the you're whole talking Halloween about it. Okay. <laughs> so everybody who's tuning in, make sure you stay listening. So this uh, this bridge over in Denton, bro. Me and Ricky went. It's, it's a bridge where technically it's like a farm. Someone died out there or whatever. And if you knock on the bridge three times. <laughs> no, 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 no. If you knock on the bridge three times, like you see stuff, like you the feel goat people, man comes out. You hear, you hear stuff, and uh, yeah, man. So, or if you come out there and honk your horn three times, you see stuff. So what you're did saying you is stuff? we're gonna record the Halloween so episode out something? there. We should, cause uh, no, we didn't see anything, but we went out there ghost hunting, so it was fun. There's actually <laughs> something like that right down the street from the studio, a River Legacy. Yeah. There's like a, a little haunted bridge or something like that. They really? say like a whole bunch of kids died really? off. Died oh on. God. Yeah, like really? the car went off. And like they say like at night. Yeah. Like if you go out there, like don't try this, you know, because I said it. But yeah. Like <laughs> you need you to go, go out there. I'm good. Have you seen people put like uh, when they go to like those haunted bridges and stuff, they'll put like talcum powder on their cars to see if oh, they can see like yeah. handprints oh my and God, stuff. Yeah. Guys. In Mexico, mm -hmm. uh, I think I just spend the night there. I think it's like a bus. Of people, you know, the train ran them over. So now, if you go out there, you can feel like you put powder on your car. You see the little handprints are pushing your car and stuff. Super crazy. Halloween is here, guys. I love Halloween. It's so <laughs> cool. Like, it's just the creepy How do we energy. Up with that? I'm I know. Energy so let's let's switch it up a little bit, guys. So so uh, yeah, man. Halloween is here. So make sure you guys go anywhere. So haunted houses are open. Um, there's a haunted like a uh, car wash now with everything yes, going out. There's, there's one yeah. on we, Preston we Road. Drive. I saw mm -hmm. one on Preston. It's like 15 bucks, I think, per car. Yeah. And then you just drive through, and I guess they scare you and stuff. And then oh, wash it awesome. too. Yeah. Yeah. Have you tried that? No, but I'm down. I'm down to do it. I'm down to do it. You can take my car. Who got a dirty car? A girly or a dirty? Dirty. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Why does it have to be girly? Um, so basically, I mean, if you get scared, I mean, after I get scared, normally I need to eat. Yeah. So normally what I do is I go for some tacos. Uh, okay. And this weekend I went to a very awesome place. Now what makes this place special is they have some of the best fajita tacos I've probably had in a long time. Normally wow. I go for like El Pastor. Yeah. yeah. But like these, this was like, I mean, top notch. As soon as you bite into it, the flavor, everything just kind of gets just you drops. going. Yeah. So this place right here is called Margarita's Mexican. 
uh, Grill. It's right off 423 West Jefferson Boulevard in Oak Cliff. You can't miss it. Oak Cliff. It's right. Yeah, all the, all the, all the good spot. stuff. Yeah, all, all the, the good, good stuff. Thank you to Oak Cliff for being Aww. Oak Cliff Thank always. You. Yeah. But no, this place was great. I had a gordita. I had um, four tacos. Mm. I mean, I had a whole bunch. And then I had a couple drinks. The drinks were on point. Yeah. Actually, it was a couple margaritas, but it was pretty on point. What was the address again? 423 West Jefferson Boulevard uh. in Dallas. Oh, Oak Cliff, Texas, basically. And uh, you know what makes a good taco? The sauce. So okay. Ricky, yeah, Ricky's fine. been trying to get into like making a super hot sauce. And we're still trying to figure it out, the formula. But I feel like that's what makes a good taco Bro, y'all need to pop. come to my house. Why? My mom makes I mean, good ass hot sauce. <laughs> You've tried it. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're yeah. Right. The the sauce sauce they, the no, they were that, good. We the need to do a makes. segment on them. And there's, on one that they, there's one that they make with nopales in it. Mm. That one's so good. I, I think I think we I'm should we should make like a little salsa competition and bring it on the studio. Who can make the so, best? Yeah, so whoever's whoever's watching, if you have like a sa- salsa a recipe that you think is the hottest, hit us up. What do you think we I should do? I don't want to brag, like, but I'm sure I'm gonna take that. Huh? Would it like they win a gift card or ho- oh, <laughs> win a hoodie or something? They win a hoodie, yeah. Win a hoodie. Latino hoodie. Shout out to Vic. <laughs> yeah. Um, Shout out. Natalie says she needs a hoodie. Oh, we're gonna get her. She's a small. So yes. yeah, she sent me the message. So she's a small. You're gonna get your hoodie, yes. um, guys. So I do want to touch on voting. So it's the pop culture show. Yes. And before we keep going with the show, make sure you got there and vote. Perla, have you voted? I actually went today. Nice, um, awesome. The line was wrapped around City Hall. It Dang. made my heart so warm, guys. Yeah. Yes, we need to do it's that. It's early vote. voting, and yeah. people are actually going out there. You can actually sign up to volunteer. Okay. Um, Power to the polls. Yes. guys. There you go. They need people. Yeah. Please, we I'm all, volunteering the third. You're gonna okay. So we're gonna go with you and vote. So make sure you're on the third, right? The third. So third. make sure you vote. And uh, if you don't agree, make sure you research. And just, just vote, you know? Yeah, yeah, for real. And the nice thing is, like, Dallas County or DFW in general right now yeah. is rocking the vote. We're coming out mm-hmm. in record numbers. The youth is definitely rocking mm-hmm. the vote. Your voice matters. Let's Local go. Politics matters. Go out there and get that vote out. Leo's going to go for yes. president. 2030. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Leo for president. Leo hey, for president. Yeah. If he can, run, if he can run, our, run the board that well, then he, he can, can run, run America. He can, he can run, run America. America. <laughs> it can't be that hard. Yeah, it can't be that hard. El papá les dice salsa picosa la que hace tu mami les. Yeah, yeah, yeah there I'm you go. See, you guys. Mañana ahorita vamos para allá. Yes, shout out to Hey guys, so uh, I want to touch on Cardi B. So she, her birthday was uh, actually this weekend. A couple yes. of, was it? Yeah, a couple of days ago. And, and guess uh, who was there? Dude, guess who was out there? Let me guess. Offset. Offset. <laughs> and let me just say, they went off, dude. There was a video of her. There was a video of her lap dancing, and they were kissing, and it's like, man, like, do you really want to let him go, or do you want to just keep it on your back pocket? Like, what, what? What's the idea from a girl's standpoint? I think she's running it right now. I, I don't, yeah, well, see, I Offset bought, bought her like a Rolls Royce. Yeah. Huh? Offset bought her a Rolls Royce. I know. Spent ten thousand mm-hmm. dollars. On a on a baby seat, on a car seat. I saw. I think I saw somebody's comment. They were like, "Did Cardi file for divorce so Offset could go off on her birthday?" And I was like, Ooh, "I don't know." I don't know. Maybe. But see, they both have so much money, so I don't know if they even feel it like that. Like, like if yeah. someone bought me a Rolls Royce, I'd be like, "Oh, man, I would feel I'd it fa- differently." I'd, you know I'd what I'm pass saying? out. You'll see. Rolls- but you guys, <laughs> like an Impala okay. <laughs> so Royce. guess uh, guess Cardi B's on uh, net worth. Uh, Twenty three mil. Mm. 12 mil. Do 24 million. Oh, oh. oh. Yeah. guess offsets. Uh, offsets. Uh, 10 net worth. 12. 26 million. Oh, I thought she made more. So you feel like? So, do you think that what's couple. keeping them together? Cause it ain't it ain't money. Cause they both got money. Maybe they they're just like shirt, yeah. Okay? Maybe they have a daughter, and maybe yeah. they're yeah. just they're that like you know when you have like that toxic person that you just can't let go. I feel like they're the, right. the, that couple. They're just toxic. Just, yeah. Together. Toxic yeah. together. Huh. Toxic and then together. The birthday, hey, two negatives make makes a positive. I don't know if that. Is that? Mm, <laughs> the <kidding>. nucleus <laughs> and the membrane. <laughs> let me just say this: the nucleus and the membrane. Um, <laughs> The plasma, they uh, nah, <laughs> the nah, but yeah, I mean, no, uh, on some serious no, that's crazy, man. The pop culture is crazy, and I feel, I mean, you know, if they can work it out, anybody in a relationship can work it out. So, if you're out there and you have some issues, think about Offset and Cardi B, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, think, if anybody can, make if it they work. can get through it, y'all can get exactly. through it, exactly. And another thing, guys, so the 2020 awards for the music and the billboard for the Latinos yes. is coming up, and guess who's all competing for that award for Latino of the year? You. Me, DJ Ivy, guys. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, know. guys. So we actually have a. We're gonna have a a a, a pool uh-huh. on our Instagram page because okay. the Latinos who are gonna be going for the award are Bad Bunny, Ooh. Romeo Santos, mm. Osuna, okay. Anuel, and J Balvin. Ooh. Ooh. 
So they're all going to be competing for that award of the... I, uh, I think Bad Bunny's going to take it. Bad so? Bunny. I think Bad so. Bunny. Oh, Why? no. Bad Bunny took the like, whole year. All of these all yeah, of these people man. were yeah. popping, but yeah. Bad Bunny, there was just something about him this yeah. year that just kind of popped off. I mm. mean, he had his Crocs collection. That I yeah. tried to get three times. He released, like, two <laughs> albums. Yeah. Like, you know, like, I feel like he's going to take it. But then again, Osuna released his new album. Dave um, Vodby made the, that, that, that... um The collab. The collab with uh, Mac- McDonald's. So... Everyone's putting in work. If only if yeah. any if anybody who's left that is uh, Romeo. I haven't Romeo. seen any work yeah, I'm from. Surprised he's on this list. Yeah. <laughs> so I he mean, he hasn't done too much but, compared to everybody else. Yeah, on you got exactly. Carol G, who's actually putting out work right now, so yeah. she's yeah. popping. Sure. Um, but I, Bad Bunny for me. I, I'll pick Bad Bunny. Man. Me too. He's just yeah. everywhere. Like you can't like escape. You can go to any bar, to any club yeah. in the world. Because he's so different. Because mm-hmm. he there. doesn't he doesn't care about like. Any standards, nothing. He yeah. does. He does what Bud Bunny wants. Even when it comes to like fashion, yeah. I feel like he's brought like a lot of things that yeah. we haven't seen in like twenty years back. Yeah. And uh, I think he's a great, great face for um, BU kind mm-hmm. of vibe. You know what I'm saying? Twenty twenty one coming out there, not be scared of wearing nails if you want to have nails. If you're a guy, yeah, like dude. Just do as you want. Mm-hmm. You know, I feel like he's a he's a good leader for that. Um, but talking about leaders today in front of us, Josh, we actually have a a, a new podcast. Oh, these ladies who are actually starting <laughs> their podcast. So shout out to you guys uh, on you guys. y'all's podcast, <laughs> breaking it out. Congrats, Thank you guys. You. Um, yeah, man. So what's the title of you guys' podcast? It's called Café con Monse y Pamela. Café con Monse, Monse y Pamela. And I'm Pamela. Is that your intro? <laughs> That's yeah. Your intro. Oh, man. Look at y'all with that intro. Man, so it's dope to, to kind of... Um, be in see, y'all's presence. Yeah, because see, see you guys. We are, you know, you guys are our friends. We know you for a while. And to be... Uh, the uh, what's the right word for it? Um, the face or, or, or like the influencers to kind of show ladies, you know, that mm-hmm. they're not alone. You guys are here to support each other, and that's yeah. dope. Definitely. That's and why, y'all talk about anything. And that's yeah. honestly why we started it. You know, yeah. um, we were, support each other. Yeah. It's free yeah. therapy. Free therapy. It's free honestly therapy. free therapy because I, yeah. well, I guess like when like when you listen to the podcast, you'll know. Like we just met out of nowhere when we yeah. needed each other yeah. and, you know we're just there to talk about our problems and issues and maybe somebody else has the same issues yeah people can always chime in real easy exactly. right exactly yeah mm-hmm. we do have like a button vent sesh people will send us anonymously right. their, their problems and we mm-hmm. touch on that on every single episode and i like dope. that a lot i think that's, that's pretty good. dope that's yeah. dope yeah. people especially women sometimes you need that that yeah. outlet yeah. that's yeah. anonymous be heard. Yeah. yeah and exactly. um with whole coronavirus, like everyone feels like they're alone, and sometimes mm-hmm. you know you're just alone. And you're like, I don't, yeah. I don't have anybody, but I feel like you guys are the perfect kind of podcast to listen to when you're feeling <laughs> that way. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like even though you don't know who's listening, people are listening, and maybe you guys are changing people's lives. So that's dope. You never know, know what's yeah. going through. So kudos to both of y'all. Thank for you. Sure. Thank you. I think that's a perfect it. balance. You know, we yeah. have the seriousness, the supportness, and then the laughter. Yeah, like, the laughter. that's yeah. how we laugh. Me and Perla deal with a lot of our issues. We just laugh about it. We make jokes, and then we try to get through it. Like you know, we'll still be serious and stuff, but you know, it's good to laugh a little and just try to get through it, especially during these times right now. Yeah, it's tough, man. It's tough, mm-hmm. and I feel like the suicide stuff and all, and all that going around. I feel like you guys are dope again Thank for you. for uh, being uh, the face of it. And sometimes <laughs> it's not hard to put in work because it's actually work. You know, you gotta actually mm-hmm. sit out there and uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. edit and I'm all a producer, that stuff. Guys, yeah. no, dude, big shout out to Perla, honestly, <laughs> because I don't think I could be doing this without her. She's she's honestly doing all the editing, mm-hmm. all the all the stuff you hear is literally Perla. Like she, yeah, she puts in work. So, so uh, where's your podcast at? You can follow us on Cafe. M N F. I'm sorry, dude. Uh, it's been a so long night. Instagram will be right, Cafe guys. con M N F. It will be in our bio. You can listen to us on Spotify. Yes. It'll be really easy to find. Just okay. look up Cafe. Yeah. Cafe con P. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, M N F. Now I do know that you know we are reaching the end of the night, mm-hmm. and um, you know this weekend, you know me and Avi were talking about something really important last night that was really on our minds, and you know speaking of like the Panatero, speaking of all the street vendors oh, and everything. Yeah, yeah for sure. Uh, I don't think people always understand like what a great job they do what a positive influence they do for the community role model and just mm-hmm. straight up hard work and mm-hmm. much respect to them and this weekend uh, you want to go ahead and lead off with this oh uh, yeah so uh, a paletero from irving was actually ran over so uh make sure to go on twitter mm-hmm. we're gonna have a link so where you can you know uh was it uh go fund me right so you mm-hmm. can go ahead and make your donation um i knew the guy who's a super dope guy yeah, he's and, all over irving. Yeah, yeah so you know um he's actually a hard-working paletero so mm-hmm. tomorrow when you wake up if you're listening guys if you see a paletero 
don't just kind of brush him off. Mm -hmm. Like say, you know, thanks, man, because he's technically there to work and he's actually making everybody happy. And so tip them. Tip them, yeah. Tip them, yeah. Sure. It's not That's, easy being out there. Yeah. It's not, bro. And uh, to, 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 to that is like, I knew him. You know, I would buy like three or four paletas, but I'll give him 40 bucks. Yeah. It, it's more than just, he's out there like... um working you know what i'm saying in the heat like there's snow like they're walking yeah, 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 yeah on their yeah. bikes like hills yeah, and yeah. everything and they're still gonna get to that apartment to get all those yeah. other paletas like you know oh, yeah. i'm crying yeah. Yeah, yeah. It. nah nah yeah but i mean god knew god knows his plan but tomorrow you know kind of that message you want to go ahead and give out is you know whether it's the paletero man wherever is is the you the txu guy from the light you know just say thanks man just tomorrow wake up thank somebody for doing their job because you don't know when what they're going through or yeah. what's gonna happen yeah <laughs> exactly uh before we go you know opera is gonna go ahead and have a club or well, no opera the club is a super club they sell food <laughs> and uh, they're gonna have a halloween party a halloween fest on uh, october 30th oh i think is it is that the one where they're gonna do like masquerade? Yeah, they're gonna. It's gonna be awesome. a Halloween party. It's gonna be. Um, it's presented by A-list Dallas and the Dallas Ooh, and Donna Preston. It's an opera horror story. It's gonna be two floors of horror. Oh. Two floors of horse. Horror. 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 Okay, guys. H o r r o r. It's all right. You, we two know. Two floors what you're of horrors. To say. And uh, man, it's gonna be dope. And uh, hopefully we're gonna be out there. Gonna get a table. Fuego Latino. We're gonna come out there and hang out. And uh, yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching and listening to us. Any last four words? Shout outs. No big shout out to all of our viewers and listeners. Right. We cannot do this without you tuning in. So yeah, thank you. Perla, any the shout outs? I want to make a big shout out to Ricky. Hey. I love you. I love you, my best friend. I love Let's you, go. baby. <laughs> <laughs> Oliver, of course. Um, just shout out to my parents because they're watching today. So los quiero mucho. Shout out. To my yes, tia, los quiero mucho. Gracias. Thank you, guys. And uh, you listen to Fuego Latino Radio. Follow us on Instagram at Fuego Latino Radio underscore. And on Facebook at Fuego Latino Radio DFW. My name is DJ Avi. We'll see you next week. Bye. Pumba. Bye. Adios, Hasta luego. Adios, chicos y chicas. You're listening to Fuego Latino Radio. Nightlife entertainment and pop culture.